Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronaut and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. So we got the update content, part 1 and 2, and free unequip event. Look at how long this thing lasts. One week, what? One week. So good. Yeah, I hope that that's like a regular thing. Every month they're doing it. I, they're not talking about, you know, like how they're going to repeat this thing. But yeah, good stuff. One week. Good, good, good. Okay, so there's two parts first part is like it has the new stuff that wasn't part of the like fourth week uh whatever i covered it already but quickly part two is the same that i covered before like the stats they're getting increased very good so i mean you might be getting more than 55 percent effectiveness uh, on some of your heroes because of this change it's fine just move gear the uh I mean, perfect for the free uh, gear uh, removal thing. Clary, yeah, we know, the nerf. That's how you recall her. You get your mats back. Blah, blah, blah. Most of you guys know the deal. Getting XP back. Like, I'm, I'm gonna keep my Clary. I'm not gonna recall her. Like, yeah, forget about that. I, I mean, the nerf. Of course, it was a nerf, but... In most cases, in PvP, you want her on turn one to do her thing. And she's gonna do her thing still. The Molagora uh, reimbursement, like you're getting uh, the reduction of 30% for the higher skill enhancements. And that's gonna be so good, guys. What? So good. Uh, memory imprint, like recall for Clurry. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay, it's. We knew, like, it, it would end up like this. That's if you're gonna recall, to be honest, like, nah, it clearly is so strong even after. It's, you don't need to go crazy about it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the refund. And yeah, the Molagora go showing up in the shop now for four. Then you don't have to go, I mean, if you're unlucky, they don't show up in the, uh, the Labyrinth from the uh, secret vendor there for four. I mean, sometimes they just don't show up. The exchange of Catalyst. Okay, this did, they didn't cover it in detail, but yeah, Zira Adventure Point. That's when you run an adventure. That's like points that you can claim in a uh, region, specific region. There it is, the exchange. Uh, and yeah, you can exchange uh, a certain amount of time per week. Wow, this is gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. Like, just think about it. And yeah, you can purchase this after clearing 1-10, Sanctuary Gate, Underground, World Difficulty. So you can get Epic Catalyst as well. You can buy two in one week. I mean, 400 points, but yeah, we all know how uh, it can end up. Like, crazy horror stories from people like, yeah, I've been farming for this Epic Catalyst for like a month. Like thousands and thousands of energy points just down the drain yeah it's it's there's a lot of horror stories out there of people being really unlucky well there you have it that's that's gonna be a massive help to a lot of players i mean myself included uh these i mean i covered all this before just more information i'm not gonna go over all this thing i, I don't want to like take an hour here but yeah i mean i covered all this already now we see, well, I mean, we're going to have all that in-game tomorrow. And what is this? Uh, I mean, okay, icon update. I mean, I don't need to cover all this, but I kind of did already. Okay, that's it for this one. Let's go on the part that we don't know. Like, let's see here. Arena Season 2 launch. Okay, that we knew, but look at this. Like... Did they talk about the increase of uh, Sky Stones, though? Depending on how we uh, ranked on the week. Look at that. Like, bunch of... Look at the higher end ones, though. Pretty massive increase. Yeah. Like, pretty much all... Like, Master Plus is getting an increase. Very good, very good. Victory bonus. This actually, like, the win streak, if you refresh your list, that that's it. You, you lose it, so... <laughs> you, I don't know about it. Like, 
early on when you're pushing early in the week you'll you'll get your uh like your win streaks but later on when you you're facing players that are about the same power you will uh, struggle to win by using the same team you will have to like switch it up and i mean we all know how long it can take some of these battles new currency glory crest and new currency glory crest has been added this currency can be obtained from the weekly uh league ranking rewards okay yeah we know we know all this and oh weekly rank reward yeah it's gonna be part of it so that's good we uh yeah we get a good chunk from these uh the weekly ranking what else is there what else i mean images we saw that before yeah the the stats that's gonna be really good to see especially the defense sometimes we don't really know um like if we won or not because we're getting attacked so often it just get gets out of control kind of deal like if you don't log in you go sleep whatever maybe you got a bunch of wins but you don't know or losses anyways we're gonna know now it's much easier to set up your defense and you can uh try things out mm, what is this season ranking process mm, okay trying to go through this pretty quick uh, hall of fame i mean most i mean what is this like 0.1 percent of the player base is uh not even like 0.001 percent okay it's all good they they spend money like let, let's be realistic here they they spend a lot of money to get there so this is uh very very limited exclusive shop as season two and what is this like portrait stuff because they talked about like the portraits it might have been up there just months okay yeah, yeah the backgrounds they're gonna that's that's what i noticed before there's actually like a uh, environment change in the arena unless this is the new look for season two i mean really cool what else we got balance okay so it's part of this thing so we knew about all this maybe i'm gonna scroll back up and check if i missed something because i covered all this i mean it's basically moonlight summons uh moonlight heroes that are being affected hearing stuff about like this is not too uh free to play friendly because i mean let's be realistic these heroes they are very hard to get and uh yeah nerf to clurry very uh free to play friendly and the buffs to moonlight summons I'm trying not to think too much about it, to be honest, but I mean, you guys will see that they're going to buff there. We got specialty changes for three star heroes. Let's let's not go like and start panicking about it. It's all good. I mean, state of the game, it's well balanced. It's well balanced. There's some games. I mean, there's some games where it's really ridiculous, guys. They're doing a really good job. So, yeah. I mean, you might have some of these heroes, like four stars. I mean, uh, yeah, let, let's not talk about the five star moonlights, but yeah, the four star, it's pretty realistic. If you're not, you don't have any of those, you might get it like later down the line, especially if you uh, stick with the game for a few years. Uh, so yeah, that's, I covered all this before. Good buffs to the mages. Good buffs. I mean, Silk, <laughs> I don't know why it wasn't like this before, but there we have it. What else is there? Crozette, yeah, I mean, that's it. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll up here and did I miss something? And I'm going to end it there, guys. But that, like, look, these Sky Stones, that's good. That's good. Free Sky Stones, more, please, thank you. We're getting it, it's all good. Free gear removal for one week one week are you are you serious so good more stats yes please uh consecutive victory like i said it's gonna be more like early on in the week and then like i don't know maybe you have a crazy team 
I mean, I pick my fights. I, I don't want, want to stay in there like for 10 minutes plus per battle. Let, let's be honest, guys. Unless you have a crazy cleave uh, comp, you're, you're just going to be like picking your fights. That's usually the smarter thing to do. And you end up with more currency, even with the victory thing. Anyways. Okay, what did I miss, really? Because I went through this pretty quick. I mean, yeah, compared to the other videos, I mean, I'm, I covered a lot here, but it's because most of it was already covered in the uh, video uh, a week before. So that's why I'm trying to not, like, repeat myself here. But, yeah, all this information, it's pretty much, like, basic knowledge of the game. What is this? Is this something new? Is, uh, the rank. Check your season ranking. Okay, the Hall of Fame, like I said, it's it's the, like 0.0001% or something crazy. There's a lot of players playing that game, but the thing I wanted to know is there is that based on each uh, like leagues or is this just going to be straight up we present to you the winner of the previous season of arena top years no that's top three that's it that that's just top three guys <laughs> yeah like none of you are probably like no one that's listening is probably gonna be top three i mean i don't know maybe so yeah the exclusive shop uh Delay. Oh, the, the, uh, there's a delay there. Okay. We will provide more detailed uh, information regarding the Season 2 shop via announcement at a later date. Yeah, there it is. New background, blah, blah, blah. Yuna NPC challenge. Hazel has been changed to mascot Hazel. Okay. Small changes. I mean, I pretty much... I just auto all these fights. It depends where you are in the game. But yeah, it's no big deal here. Hmm... Yeah, small changes. And then it's like the balance. So I didn't really miss anything, to be honest. So the, the exclusive shop is the thing with... Wait, that is actually the item level 88 gear. That's delayed. Right? Because, yeah, season 2 exclusive shop. And the portrait, the frames, all that that they talked about, it is delayed. So yeah, just farm your points, guys, and wait up, wait up. And uh, I usually buy stuff that has speed on the substat, because, I mean, speed is king. Speed is king, and that's usually how I buy them in order of priority. Might go with jewelry first, because it depends on the main stat, but yeah, that's just my final thoughts on the matter. But it's not even a release, guys, so I'm just going to talk about it when it gets released. But yeah, uh, a lot of stuff, really, in this, uh, these uh, updates. But yeah, pretty pumped. Just thinking about the uh, reimbursement of Molagora, 30% reduction. I mean, that's huge by itself. Then the free unequip event, one week. Yes, thank you. And uh, yeah, good stuff. Clearly nerf. Don't have to panic, to be honest. Like, I'm keeping her. I'm not going to recall. Uh, she's still very, very good. Uh, I mean, she is not going to change anything really for turn one in PvP. I mean, you cannot rely on that 15% down to 10% chance to get an extra turn. Let's be realistic. Uh, over the like long term, it's yeah. There, there is some annoying things that happens uh, when you're fighting someone on defense and all that. But in most cases, it it it's all good. In PvE though. Yes, it's not substantial. It, it's a nerf, yes. Of course, uh, removing buff will happen less often and defense down. It's unfortunate because clearly, like, she was really strong. She was really strong. And she was used everywhere. So I understand the nerf. And it's unfortunate that the buffs are, the majority of the buffs are hitting Moonlight Hero. So it seems like, yeah, that was a big kick in the you know what for free to play players but usually they they know how to handle these uh, updates and like uh, with the specialty changes and we'll see buffs for like three star heroes and four star heroes and all that later i'm not too too worried about it guys but yeah that's it for this one guys thanks for watching i'm astronox like comment and subscribe for more press the bell icon if you like to be notified whenever i release a new video and check out my other videos they should be showing up on the screen now all right peace out for now